Do penguins have knees? I don't think so, but um, I don't know if that's a joke or something or, or what. I don't think they do. Okay, there we go. All right, so we should be good to go. We're going to be playing a, um, we're going to do an England Gambit Viewer Arena. We'll do it for one hour, you guys. Um, uh, those of you who are wondering what the England Gambit is, um, that is, uh, it's an opening. It's where Black Gambit's a pawn on the very first move. You start with pawn to d4, pawn to e5. And now white can either decline it. You can like play like e3 or c3, or white can accept the gambit with pawn takes. Usually black plays knight to c6, knight to f3, and then either d6 or queen e7. Bishop b4 is also another move. d6 is one idea. Just activate the bishop, get the queen out, and castle the king immediately to attack in the center of the board. So that's, um, that's, uh, that's what the England Gambit is. So we're going to be doing a, a one-hour view arena for that, and we keep rolling along. Best Polish player of all time. I think the best Polish player of all time is probably um, is probably Akiba Rubinstein is what I would say. I think he's probably the best, objectively. Okay, I'm going to play... I mean, d6 is a move here. I think queen e7 is also supposed to be decent. Best Norwegian player of all time. The funny thing is... Outside of Magnus, I mean, I guess there's Agdestein, but there there really aren't many players comparable. I think D6 and C6 is important here. Oh, am I going to get Sauce in the opening here? I might. He's, he's, he's playing hardcore stuff. I guess I kicked the knight out. Maybe Bishop E6 was better. Actually, my king is kind of lacking. I also just try to count. Actually, what about queen b6? Try to just trade queens here. Best Estonian player was, of course, Paul Karas. Not even close. Problem for my opponent is it's almost like a bond cloud, but I'm getting a very consolidated king here in the center of the board. It's so maybe not so bad. Like, I can... Maybe it's not so bad. Wait, bishop d6? I think I'm maybe okay here. I hit the knight. If knight h5, I go g6. I don't think this works here. I can also go bishop e5. I think I just develop and I am almost completely fine here. Okay, I can play bishop e5, but I think just knight e7. Oh, I had bishop b4, which is obviously better. So let's just get rid of these bishops. Once these bishops come off the board, I think I'm doing very well. Let's just trade. Let's go h5. Maybe h4, h3. Maybe not. I think I will just roll the pawns. Can play g5 uh actually h3 is maybe good maybe bad i'm not sure but his bishop looks very awkward in the corner here you can go g5 i think i'm just gonna go maybe just here to hit the knight i just i've got to be careful actually wait let's go here does it work d4 maybe c5 at some moment how do i get aggressive i guess i'll go g5 maybe knight just yeah um uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so the the, co the collab with Ben is on um, Wednesday. We're doing a sub battle on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. All right, let me. I think that's right. I, I'll double check on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be the plan. Okay. Um, what are the moves? Bishop e6 is a move. Knight e5 is a move. Can also just go a5 to close the center here. Was he playing the England Gambit? No, what there was there was actually there was actually a um there's actually a game between uh Levy and Ben, I think, in, a, in an England Gambit, which Ben won with the white pieces. My opponent's bishop is very sad here on um like very sad on h1. It's it's very sad. Like I'm I'm almost just I guess I'll swing back. I don't have to do this. Go here, guard the bishop. C4, I just take. No, F4, because of this. I guess I'll go back. Because, again, as long as F4 is not playable, his bishop is kind of just dead on H1. Best German player? Um, It's got, I mean, of course, it's Emmanuel. Emmanuel Lasker. No one, I mean, there's just no one else comparable to the one and only. A Bluebaum? No, I mean the best German player of all time is obviously, uh, obviously not Matthias Bluebaum. Let's go here. I want to go Bishop F3 maybe. His Bishop is so awful on H1. 
Opinion on the Budapest Gambit? I think that's a little bit dubious. Best Israeli player? I mean, obviously, it's uh, Boris Gelfond. Uh, oh, you mean other than Boris? Uh, objectively, it's probably Satovsky, I would think. Objectively. I can't think of anyone else. Okay, let's just... Um, I can't deaden it. Let's go... Let's go F5, maybe D4 here. I'm trying to get sneaky here. I, I don't know if he sees my idea, but I'm trying to get sneaky. Okay, I, but now his bishop is dead forever, so I, I should be very happy. Although, I've kind of misplayed the... No, I, I tried to go for something thematic that just doesn't doesn't work. Yeah, this is kind of stupid of me. Let's go here. Let's go here. Yeah, this was very poor of me. I thought I could get some trick. Oh, I got to move. What am I doing? I have no time. I wasn't even looking at my time there. He's thinking too long here. Okay, very weird. Why is it called the England? Isn't it England? No, it's England. Thank you to Adrian Mittal for the two. I don't know why it's called England. I think that's a, that was a chess player, but maybe not. Okay, let's take the pawn on e5. Nice shirt. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, now I played bishop f4. This time I'm gonna go knight f3. I think they're supposed to play d6, and it gets very complicated. Although I gave knight g6. I guess maybe I'll just play g3, and he gets the pawn back. Just take and go bishop g2. Come on, Jesus is Charlie. Could I play Among Us with Mass Knissen? You mean play Among Us with Magnus? Um, I actually updated the game yesterday. I was watching Hafu stream for a little bit yesterday morning. And um, and so, yeah, I mean, I might play some Among Us soon. I actually, I've, I've thought about it recently. I'm probably going to start doing variety, like uh, variety one, one day a week. Probably like Saturdays, I'm going to start doing variety pretty soon. Let's take a G4 maybe. The game is so dead, man. It didn't it didn't seem dead to me. But maybe it is. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing variety Saturdays. Because Saturdays is always a day that's I mean the weekends are very slow. Thank you, Tree's Daddy, for the two months. I'm gonna do maybe doing variety and sub sub games uh on Saturdays. That's that's what I'm thinking about doing. Oh my good lord. Oh wait, no, that wasn't winning. He had Bishop D4 check if I went for this. Okay, um, just go back. Um, poker, I've, I've done poker. I'm not crazy about poker. Poker's just not my, I don't know. Let's go here. I want to go rook b1. Of course, it's a dead game. There hasn't been an, been an update patch in 2,000 years. Queen is OP since forever and no balance patches. <laughs> okay, dude. Let's take and go c3 here. Queen is too OP. Queen is just too OP, right? Let's go rookie one and take. What other games do I play besides chess? When I was much younger, I, I liked StarCraft a lot. Um, if you ask me a list of games that I would play on stream right now, probably I would do the, the boring jump games like Jump King, Alta 4. Um, what else is there that I, I, I would like to play? I'm trying to think. Um, um, what else is there? Okay, let's just take the pawn A7, move the bishop back. Uh... Starcraft, I mean, yeah, like I said, Starcraft, I, I used to play. I, I haven't really played Starcraft 2. Um, let's see. I can obviously just trade and take more pawns. Um, I played Valorant on stream. I I, I don't mind Valorant. I, I kind of like Valorant. I like Valorant more than I like Fork Knight, that's for sure. Let's go Queenie 1. Let's go Bishop A6 and drop the Bishop back. Okay, I think I'm just going to bring the bishop back and we play a4, a5. 
Go A4, A5, A6. Do, you, do I have a gaming rig? Of course I do, you guys. I bought an expensive computer. I mean, chess is a very, very serious game. Like, you, you have to buy a 10K. I mean, if you don't have a 10K computer for, for chess, then you're doing something wrong. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Okay, let's just trade again. I'm way up on material. I'm just running this bad boy up the board. But I've played a little bit of all games. This gambit's not good. I think it. I think it's decent. Just run this king in. It should just be pretty cleanly winning. One, two, three. Do you feel more like a professional chess player or streamer? Um, hmm, interesting question. Probably these days I feel more like a streamer than than a chess player, honestly. So let's go here. Let's stalemate the king of the corner, but he has pawn, so it's not stalemate. Then you do a punter base for the tier one paranoid for the tier one moss diggity for the eight. Thank you so much. So I can just take go a seven, a eight, make a queen, go queen c six. Should just be pretty cleanly winning. This opening seems okay, but the whole whole gambit seems a little bit suspicious. I have to say, it doesn't seem quite as sound as I thought as as I thought it should be. Let's go here. Let's hit the pawn again. I think knight c6 is universally correct for the first move. I guess I can also play queen e I mean, queen e7. I mean, if I don't get the pawn back, I have d6 or queen e7. So, I mean, this this guy knows what's up. He's going to play knight d5 too, I guess. So, I take, I drop back, and I hope I'm not losing again. I don't understand this gambit. It seems very dubious. It's not losing. The Stafford, I think, is just outright losing. This, I think, is just bad. But, um, yeah. Let's go knight f6 here. Maybe c6 next move. Uh, I can obviously trade. I can also go C6 and kick the knight. I'm sorry for the misinformation. I thought you were talking about an aunt. Okay, dude. Let's go here and take. Where I'm currently in Los Angeles. I'm I'm in Los Santos, uh, USA. Below 2K, I think it's playable. Yeah, yeah. I, that I think is true. Let's go here and castle. I got to get out of this pin so I can move the knight, maybe. F4 is a great move. Um, let's go here and take, I guess. The England gambit will not happen in the candidates, but yeah, <laughs> let's take. Okay, I have queen f4. I mean, I also have rook g8. I can also just... I can manually move the king out, but I think I'm going to go here. Okay, that's a mistake because now I castle my king. And I should just be better here. Let's go here. Plant the bishop on a really nice square. Sidestep. Uh, you want to see a Blumenfeld Gambit Arena? The Blumenfeld is a fun opening also. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more Gambits as much as I can for the next like week or two. Guess I drop back, put more pressure on the pawn up two here. The whole point is that people will play bishop b4. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah. So I had a five. I guess I go here. I'm going to need d5 at some moment to open open up the lines for my rooks. The Blumenfeld is better than the Benko. I don't think that's true, actually. I think the Benko is probably better than the Blumenfeld at a high level. Okay, now he takes a pawn, which is a move, but it looks a little bit sketchy. A little bit sketchy after queen c5. Not 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 that sketchy, but just a touch sketchy. Okay, so it goes nine seven. So I take, I go here. Oh no, I just blundered. I think. Okay, he doesn't take advantage. I think queen d seven was winning. Um, this might still be losing for me. Should have gone rook g eight and rook g one. That was so bad by me. Can take, but that cannot work. Okay, let's go a five. I'm going to have to go, like, here. I'm going to sidestep. Get my king out of all the dangers here. In what city does my stepfather teach? That would be Nueva York. I think I'm just losing, actually. I'm just losing in this line. Unless I have some funky tricks. 
I'm gonna try to get weird. So I'm trying. Oh, but this. What am I doing even? Like knight d6 is probably just losing. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, let's go check and take. Obviously, I'm losing here, but I do have tricks like rook f2. Let's go here. I'm going to have to try to flag him. Okay, there's no actual way for him to win. Pawn is get going very, very fast down the board. Like, really fast, actually. I'm not even sure how he's stopping it now. Let's go here. Oh, that was a horrible move. Queen h7. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, he misses it. He gives me rook h8, which he didn't need to give me. Um, He's still got a little too much time, so I need to get him to use a touch more time. The a4 was also an awful move. Oops, free queen. What other sports do I play? I uh, I play tennis. Chess Brainiac says, why am I so bad at this game? I mean, you're not bad. It just happens. Okay, I, I mean, but d6 is... I guess there's only one point, which is the cheese. But if the cheese doesn't work with a blunder bishop f4, it's just bad for black. Basically. Fabiano's net worth is 13 million. I think I think we've been through this before. Uh, whatever site you're looking at those net worths on, they're not true for any of us. Because I'm worth I'm I'm worth anywhere from 50 50 million to like uh like like 200 million dollars or something. Like trust me, those sites are not accurate. Don't trust everything you read on the internet. Like seriously. <laughs> but aren't you? Yeah, right. There's literally no way you're ever you're ever worth like. 200 million dollars or more unless you created a company or a website like there's literally no way okay i can just take the bishop next move um i like my position here i can go 95 also build a big center it should be pretty good don't trust anything you read yeah what if your parent is a vanderbilt i'm pretty sure if your if your ancestor were vanderbilts didn't they go broke within one generation I'm pretty sure wasn't the Vanderbilt like wasn't that fortune gone within like one generation maybe I'm wrong but I I, th I thought like I I thought that basically that they, they squandered it like the the kids they they like they destroyed it in, in one generation which is pretty impressive I'm gonna admit like pretty impressive thank you to ample artists for the prime again appreciate it thank you so much how do you squander so much money? I don't know. But I'm pretty. But yeah, I do remember because they, they say something like, "If you're really, really rich, within like two generations, generally all the money is gone." That's what they say. Um, let's go King C seven. I can take play D five. I guess I'll go here. I've got two great golden ops that are going to be really, really well placed. Just take. I know you don't drink, but what beer would you have? Uh, if I was going to drink beer, I would definitely have Cellar Artois from my home country of Belgium. Let's go Bishop F5, put pressure on the Knight and the Rook. Let's go back. Um, I guess I can just, I can trade if I want. Even D5 looks good. Sell Artois as old person beer. Okay. Thank you for that. Guess he's going to go there. I think I just trade and bring my rook in. I mean, there's a pawn. Let's go here and here maybe. 
Don't actually like the way I played this. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get Chirpy here and play this one. I don't even know if this is right, but I feel like it's complicated. He's got one, two, three rolling. I've got the big center, the center four. Let's go here. Do I prefer fries from the Netherlands or Belgium? Um, I mean, French fries are good as long as you do it the proper way and you have it with mayonnaise. It's very, very good. Okay, I think I'm just going to start to run the pawns up the board here. Let's go here. Yeah, mayonnaise is the best. Mayonnaise with uh, french fries. If you've never had it before, you're missing out on the single greatest thing to ever come out of Europe. Um, I'm going to go here and try to trade now, maybe. Okay, but this just loses because I go here and here, right? Wait, he has bishop f... Okay, that was almost... I don't know, I guess it's just winning. Thank you to Felix Sundin for the two. A burn for the prime. Altoy DZ for the prime. Clevelier 23 for the prime. Thank you so much, Clevelier. Appreciate it. Mayonnaise is great. I love mayonnaise. Let's go here. Let's go, let's go knight c6 here and queen e7 next move. Basically, if your opponent doesn't blunder this cheesy trick with bishop f4, you're, you're always um, doing well. Nihal just crushed Magnus. That's actually not surprising. Ne it's very easy to underestimate Nihal. I've done it a few times when I played him in Blitz where I just completely underestimate Nihal. I mean, he's he's very, very good. It's very easy to... Uh, it's, very, it's very, very easy to forget. Um, I... I guess I'll go here, Knight of Six or something. They have beach volleyball for the five months. Thank you so much. Fion Cheeto is pronounced with a K sound like Fion Keto. Okay. Let's go Knight, Knight of Six and Castles. Yeah, I can always go C6 next move or take or Castles. It's all pretty standard. Um, Let's go C6 here. They get a D bar coder for the two months. Do you think Nihal could achieve the same success as Ali Reza? Um, yeah, I think he could. I think Nihal is very, very talented um, for sure. Let's go Queen E7. I can take. Um, I can drop the Bishop back. I can take on E4. I think I just castle. Because if he ever goes to E4, I trade and he loses the pawn at E4 here. Why is the background so yellow? Oh, because I have lights on probably. That, that, that's got to be the reason. I think I'll just develop my Bishop, develop the Knight here. Go here again. Control the center. Maybe ninety four next move. I can obviously go d four. I can go ninety four. Maybe looks fine. I can just take Chick Fil A or Popeyes. Definitely Popeyes. Thank you to B D B R W R for the three months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to Little Tamu for the uh, prime. Thank you so much, Little Tamu. Popeyes or churches? I haven't had churches in many, many years. I, I do like Dave's Hot Chicken, though, here in LA. It's, that's pretty good. Dave's Hot Chicken is really good. I do like that. I haven't had that in, like, months. I need to get that again soon. Maybe today, even. Okay. Um. Let's go here. Maybe just rotate around the back. go queen g6 hit the bishop hit the pawn on c2 here stay healthy no fried chicken but I, I mean yeah but dave's hot chicken is pretty good key lime pie I, I mean i like key lime pie it's that's also pretty good but i, I really should stop talking about food because that's going to start making me very hungry soon next otb tournament will be um uh it'll probably be sinkfield uh sinkfield cup rapid and blitz in august probably my next otb tournament I've had deep dish pizza. I, I think it's very overrated. I think I think deep dish pizza is as bad as it gets. Hot take. 
Are those people in Chicago, I don't know what they're smoking, but deep dish pizza is one of the worst things I've ever had. I mean, it's just like, just let's just, let's just fill up the crust. With like, let's just fill it up with like 50,000 more calories, basically. I'm going to do this one. I, it's probably wrong, but I'm going to try it. Although maybe Queenie 7 is still fine because there's still Queen B4. Hmm. I'm not vaccinated yet. No. I mean, I, I love Chicago as a city, but deep dish pizza is... Ugh. It's just a failed quiche. I kind of agree with that. That's that's a statement. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of pressure here. Maybe castles pressure towards C7. This is all very good for me. Am I ever going to make a video on the whole MVL thing? We already put out a video um, of the, of the uh, MVL Fabiano game. We did our recap. Everyone, including Hikaru, is entitled to their wrong opinions. <laughs> good one, my man. Good one. Good one. Just take and take. <laughs> entitled to their wrong opinions. Okay, let's go rook d4, d, d, e4. Uh, the whole country is open for vaccinations now, so just do it. Yeah, but the thing is, there were no vaccinations. Uh, there were no... I, I was looking at Walgreens and CVS, and there's nothing available in the next, like, five days here. So, there's nothing available, so I'm really not in any huge rush. Chicago most definitely is not a failed city, though. That is not true. For sure, it's not. That That's definitely not true. Um... Go here, Team Pfizer or Moderna. Um, if I if I have a choice, I'll I'll get the Pfizer one. That's that's just my honest take. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Maybe Bishop G4 next move. Let's go here, hit the bishop. Maybe Rook F4, Bishop H4 next move. Greatest video of all time. I have no idea. Let's go here, target everything. I guess. Mm. Thoughts on the stock market? I don't. I don't have. Uh, I don't have any thoughts right now. Um, but I'm not. I'm not thrilled by what's happening today. I feel very stupid because I, because I made my. Uh, I made my retirement purchases on Friday. And I told myself maybe I should just wait till Tuesday, and I did it on Friday. And of course, and of course, Friday was fine. But now today on Monday, the market is just like collapsing. So I feel pretty stupid. Let's go here. I look very energetic today. I feel pretty good. I mean, I had a day off, so I'm. I'm, I'm feeling good. Buying at the all-time high, yeah, but I mean, I, I'm assuming I'll, I'll have, a, I'll be making a living for a while. So, if I, if I assume that I'm going to be working for another 10, 20 years, then like it shouldn't matter where I buy because you assume, you assume that in 20 years the market will be higher and you can't really time it in terms of like purchases from that standpoint. Let's go C3. Let's go here. Buy high, sell low. That's a strategy. Yes. Yeah. Also, yeah, buying any time in the last five years would be an all-time high. That's also a true, a true point, yeah. Yeah. Although I do own AMC still. I do own AMC. Um, and I probably will still own it for a long time because I sold, sold calls on... Stock has not been impressive. Let's go Bishop B3 and takes. Thank you to Divinus for the 9. Fishy Wizard for the tier 1. Thank you so much. I think I can just take and go here. Let's go back. Okay, let's take. One more to go. Also, big shout out to everyone who's played in this... Um, Everyone who's played in <laughs> hacks, hacks, yeah. To everyone who's played in this this uh, this year arena, I think we've played other than one player. We've played twice. Every other game, we ever every other game has been against someone unique. So thank you so much. Um, so I can go bishop g five here. I can play e three or e four next move. Let's go here. Maybe castles again. I think black is not black was supposed to go this way and castle the the long way, not the short way here. Hey, Orodin for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate Orodin. Let's go E4. What site is this? This is chess.com. Thank you to Collect Owls for the nine months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 
I have bishop b5 here. I can also take and play e5 next move. This is all pretty good for me. I like my position. Just take and go e5, and I hit the bishop. Why am I deciding to retire? I'm not retiring. Did I know that Toast won the OTV Valor tournament yesterday? I didn't watch that closely. I, I mean, I, I I knew who was who was competing in that. I, I didn't really watch it very closely. Fide's tweet on 415. What did what did Fide tweet? Um, what did Fide tweet? Someone says there was a tweet. I don't see it. Yeah, okay. Um, just take the pawn here. Okay, you guys are you guys are just debating now. Let's go ninety five. Oh, Levy made a tweet. Coughing without a mask on should be a felony straight to jail. <laughs> okay, Levy. <laughs> Coughing without a mask on should be a felony straight to jail. <laughs> okay. Okay, Levy. Let's go H5 here. I think an obsession for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go H6 here. Good lord. Good lord. Um, he's not wrong, yeah. <sighs> so bad. Just so bad. Levy tilted hard on stream today. I mean I, I wasn't I wasn't watching a stream, but but Levy will be back again. Also, it's coming up very soon, but Levy and Anna will be back. They will be covering the next um the new in chess classic, the fifth event of the Meltwater Champions Chess Tour. Um, so they will be covering that. It will be coming, it will be starting on, I believe Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, so they will be covering it. So that will be the return of our, of our tournament coverage as well. Let's go to 84, knight f6. Classic lolly checkmate here. He resigns. Uh, I mean, Queen G7, King King G8, Queen G7 is just checkmate here by four. So, so yeah. All right, you guys. I think that's going to be the end of the view arena. I am going to get up once again, just stretch my legs as I try to do pretty much every hour if I can. So I will just take my classic short break and be right back. <laughs>